So Obama's talking about all of this with the global warming and the, that, and a lot of it's a hoax. It's a hoax. I mean, it's a money-making industry, okay? It's a hoax. Climate change is the difference in local and global weather patterns due to human-caused greenhouse gas emissions. Climate change is an extremely important issue nowadays, but it's still commonly misunderstood by both the general public and important policymakers. Here we explain some of the most common myths people hold about climate change and why they're incorrect. Yes, our climate's changed. They've been changing for uh, ever, ever since the, uh, the Earth was formed. Hey Jack, what do you think about climate change? Well, climate change has been here for like five million years, so why does it matter? Wrong. Jack isn't completely incorrect, but he has the wrong idea. The Earth does in fact go through natural cycles of warming and cooling. Remember the Ice Age? <laughs> However, we are experiencing unprecedented rates of warming right now. These rates cannot be explained by natural causes and therefore must be anthropogenic or caused by humans. Human activities of burning coal, oil, and gas have accelerated this warming by adding carbon dioxide, or CO2, to the atmosphere. This CO2 is an example of a greenhouse gas that stays in our atmosphere and contributes to warming. That is why we are seeing such high rates of global warming right now. So although Jack is right that the planet has seen the climate change before, it has never happened this rapidly and from unnatural causes. Jack, what are your other thoughts about climate change? Well, it's only like a few degrees of warming, so it doesn't even matter. Absolutely false. During the last ice age, about 12,000 years ago, the Earth's average temperature was only about 4 to 5 degrees Celsius cooler than it is today. That warming to today's average temperature happened over 12,000 years, whereas our Earth has warmed about 0.8 degrees Celsius in the last 140 years. That's over 13 times faster. Many people don't realize the extent of damage just 2 degrees Celsius of warming will do. First of all, 2 degrees of warming in Celsius is equivalent to 3.6 degrees of warming in Fahrenheit. 2 degrees of warming could cause more flooding, crop failure, wildfires, rising sea levels, limit fresh water, and more. Do you know what this is? It's a snowball. And that's just from outside here. So it's very, very cold out, very unseasonable. Jack, what other claims do you have against climate change? Well, how can global warming exist when there's snow on the ground? Jack is thinking of the weather, not the climate. The global average temperature is still warming over the years, but the weather can still get cold. Weather is what we experience on a day-to-day -day basis, whereas climate is the long-term average of those weather patterns. So yes, since we are, in fact, in upstate New York, you will still find snow, but it doesn't mean that climate change isn't real. Climate change actually increases the likelihood for lake effect snow because it is not cold enough for the lakes to freeze over, so the storms pick up water vapor from the lakes and produce more snow. We're hearing a lot about renewables, presumably wind and solar. Um, those are the most expensive ways of generating electricity that, that we have available to us. Now do you believe that climate change is real and needs to be addressed? Well, solar and wind power are expensive and inefficient. Realistically, we need nuclear, coal, and oil to provide for energy needs. Once again, wrong you are. This thought process is outdated. Technology has significantly decreased the costs of renewable energy and even sometimes made it cheaper. Solar and wind prices have dropped to the same cost or cheaper than fossil fuel powered energy. In fact, Solar and wind have gotten so cheap that they are increasingly becoming the go-to energy source for new buildings. Unfortunately, Jack's claims about the costs of solar and wind are shared by many people, but these forms of energy are actually the most economically efficient energy sources available. Okay, maybe you have a point. Finally, don't you think climate change is an issue that needs to be addressed? Yeah, but... Us humans would need to get wiped out for the planet to survive. That's not true. There's definitely hope. Jack's viewpoint is that of many people who have given up and assume there's nothing they can feasibly do. However, there's lots we can do to help. The human population is very large and cannot continue increasing at the current rate. So first we need to encourage people to have fewer children. 
In fact, a few countries like Japan and Germany are experiencing this already. Secondly, we need people to lead much more sustainable lifestyles and significantly reduce the greenhouse gas emissions. This will require local, national, and international policies, as well as significant individual efforts, but it is possible. It is true that we cannot allow the human race to continue growing, but the Earth's future does not depend on the extinction of the human race either. Clearly, there are still many things about climate change that people do not fully understand. We hope that this video cleared up a few of the most common climate misconceptions and helped people to better understand what exactly climate change is and how it will affect us.